Well, hello again. Uh, here's another really good one involving Trump, a subject of just unending interest to everyone. Uh, today's question is, will Trump go to jail? Well, we all know that he has an absolute avalanche of lawsuits facing him, some of which involve jail time if convicted. Uh, many people would love to see him go to jail, but will he? Well, I look at both of the possible answers to that question. First of all, let's uh, look at those who say, yes, he will go to jail. They cite simply the enormity of serious legal problems which beset him. Uh, none of these prosecutions are frivolous. They're being prepared with absolutely voluminous evidence, much of it provided by former associates of his, colleagues supposedly, who have agreed to cooperate with the authorities, obviously to save their own skin, and with meticulous preparation, uh, and in some cases promising great career advancement for the lawyers involved. What better motivation could there be than that? Uh, Trump enjoyed immunity from prosecution while president, which is probably the principal reason for his claiming that he did not lose the election and that he is in fact still the president. Don't, su don't be surprised if he makes this claim in his defense in some of these actions, which will presumably be rejected out of hand by most judges. From a sentencing standpoint, the most serious crimes that he faces are those that involve bank, tax, and insurance fraud in New York. Uh, also, collusion and instigation of the assault on the Capitol building, awful, and the obstruction of the election in Georgia. And if convicted on any of those, and that seems really certain, all involve jail time. Trump faces significant financial pressures as well. The civil defamation suits for women he assaulted would presumably involve recompense. Uh, he has payments on bank debt, they say, of some $400 million, major amount even for him, coming due shortly. And he's being sued by his niece for the fraudulent, fraudulent handling of his father's estate. Now, none of those will involve jail time, but there will certainly be a distraction that will certainly catch his attention and might even ability, it affect his ability really to pay his lawyers. Okay, okay. So what about those who say, no, he won't go to jail? One view is that he will simply flee, a subject I have taken up in two other videos. He simply would not be able to face jail time, so he'd leave the country. Uh, likely to Dubai or someplace like that. Uh, next, uh, we simply don't imprison the rich and powerful in America. One must only look at all the wealthy Wall Street bankers involved in that uh, Ponzi scheme mortgage crisis in 2008, none of whom were ever even indicted. So what does that tell you about privilege? Uh, next, it may well be that some of the judges involved in his various criminal cases would be reluctant to incarcerate an ex-president of the United States. It is, after all, unprecedented and horrifying to look at. Uh, and there is specific deference according to presidents, and of great importance here to ex-presidents, uh, since none has ever been jailed or even charged since the founding of the Republic. Uh, this one won't either. Historic precedence is working in his favor. Well, he's got a lot going for him, irrespective of his legal troubles. That, that's really the case against his going to jail. Well, after all of that, what is, what is my take? Well, my take is that Trump is simply facing too many serious legal actions many of which involve jail time. He's facing formidable legal adversaries with unlimited budgets, lots of smart people determined to get him and reward jail sentences. Uh, as a consequence, and after probably much legal delay, he will start losing his cases. 
and either leave the country or even do himself some sort of harm to try and frustrate his apprehension. What a sad situation for a former president of the United States. But he has made his bed and he must lie in it. Plain and simple, he's a crook and the game is up. Sorry if that offends some of you, but uh, there it is, that's what I think. And uh, I think the evidence and support for it is really quite strong and almost unequivocal. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, do the usual. Give me a, give me a like, a subscribe, uh, notify, comment, and so forth. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.